Hi, Fellowship Kids and Families. I'm Miss Nancy, and I can't wait to see you this coming Sunday, January 10th, because we'll be back in person for children's ministry. And we have a brand new series that we're starting. This series is called, Who Am I? And did you know, boys and girls, that your true identity, who you really are, comes from Jesus. Not from the world around you, not from social media, not from the television, not even from your friends. Because that's not really who you are. Who you are is inside here. And now I'm gonna tell you a little story about when I was in school. When I was in school, I wasn't lucky like you. You get to go to church with your family. You read the Bible. I didn't get to do that. My family didn't do that. So boys and girls, I didn't know who I was. I thought that I was this person that you're going to hear about. This says Nancy, that's me. I thought I was not good enough. I thought I was always alone, that I was never included. I was pretty clumsy because I couldn't make those basketball shots. And I was always yearning to be accepted. You see, I just didn't fit in. I thought I didn't fit in, but that was because I thought I belonged to the world around me. Guess what? I belong to Jesus. When I came to know Jesus, when I began reading the Bible, when I began going to church, that changed who I knew I was. Boys and girls, this is who I am now. I'm still Nancy, but now I know that I am not worthless. I am accepted for who I am. I'm never going to be alone. Jesus will always be with me. I have been chosen by God. I was put here on earth. He knew he was putting me here. He wants me here. This why, the last letter in my name is yearning for others to know God. Boys and girls, if there's anything in the whole world that I could give you, it was to know who you are because God made you. He loves you. You are loved, you are cherished, and you are chosen too. So boys and girls, I can't wait for you to start this new series with us and find out who you are because the most important thing is that you are loved by God. Have a great week.